What is going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a great week. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. My name is Black Peter the Apple Guy. If you're new here, please think about smashing that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. That way you don't miss content when I drop it. And today I have a new tutorial. As you can see here, I have two iPads. This is the iPad mini, fourth, fifth gen. This is the iPad Air, fourth gen. This is the new one. And today I'm gonna show you how to back up on your old device and transfer all that to your new iPad without the need of having to plug it into your computer, backing it up, unplugging it, plugging your new one, sit there and restore from that one. I'm actually gonna show you how to transfer data from this iPad to this iPad. Now, I've already had this for uh, about a week or so, so I've already done it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset this iPad and then I'm gonna show you how to simply just transfer all the data you have from your old iPad to your new one and we're gonna get on that tutorial now. Okay, so as you can see, my iPad has now been restored. I have factory reset this to its uh, default setting, basically when you get it straight out the box. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously follow the instructions, so we're gonna swipe up. Obviously choose whatever language that you are native to. Now quick start means that basically all you have to do is you bring your old iPad and set it next to your new iPad. So as you can see on my old iPad is saying set up new iPad using my Apple ID to do this. Now, if you have your old iPad sitting next to you or if you don't have it, then go grab your old iPad, set it next to your new one. When it pops up, you're gonna hit continue on your old iPad. And then it's gonna connect to this iPad. So what's gonna happen is you see this little blue circle here, your camera on your iPad, you're gonna to wanna to align that with that blue one. So as you can see, we're gonna search for that. As you can see, it's already done it. Find and finish a new iPad. Enter, it's gonna ask you to enter the passcode of your other iPad. So basically, if you have a code for your old iPad, like to unlock it, then you would enter that in. So I'm gonna enter that in really quick and then we're gonna finish with the tutorial. So as you can see now, it's setting up my iPad and my old iPad is finishing on the new one. So basically all the content that's on this is gonna be placed on this. And that's literally all you have to do. Obviously with the new iPad Air, it is all Touch ID. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set up my Touch ID again. Now, as you can see, it brings you up after you're done setting up the fingerprint ID on this, or even if you don't and you just wanna set it up later, it brings you to this screen right here. As you can see, it's asking you to transfer your data. Now you can either do it from the cloud or you can transfer it from your iPad. Basically, this means you can transfer it from your old iPad to the next, but if you did an iCloud backup, then you simply would just download from the cloud. So you simply just hit cloud, since I've downloaded mine from the cloud, setting up my Apple ID, and then you pretty much just agree to everything, setting up your Apple ID, Now on your next, on your old iPad, just say finish on the new iPad. Keep this iPad near your iPad while your information is being transferred. You wanna keep it within close proximity of it. I mean, you don't want it like in another room or somewhere else where you can't access it or look at it. You know, just keep it to the side if you want. So as you can see, it brings you to the uh, restore your apps and data. Depending on how old your iPad is, if you have an older device, you're gonna to wanna to do the update backup before restoring. So basically you're gonna want it to update to the newest iOS that's out there as well as once it's done, then they'll initiate all the apps that you have on your previous uh, previous iPad. If you already backed up your old iPad or say you've already, uh, so you have like an older iPad, so you have something uh, within like the last year or you bought like an iPad 8th gen or 7th gen and it's already been updated to the newest iOS, then you simply would just restore from that previous backup. So say you did one earlier today, you simply would just tap on the restore from that earlier date and then that's it. Or if you just wanna choose it from an older backup date, or if you wanna do it, um, if you wanna not restore and you wanna completely start this as a completely new iPad, you can do that. Now, as you can see, after it's done loading up, it brings you back to your simple regular menu. Then you swipe up. Now, if you already have a touch ID, or if you wanna just enter in your code, you can do that and then it will bring you to your iPad screen. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna enter my code really quick 
and then I'm going to show you what you do next. Now, as you can see, my iPad is restored. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock it. Now, on your old iPad, it's going to show you this. Basically, what that means is it's going to say that you're now using your Apple ID and your phone number on your new iPad. So basically, just notifying, letting you know that, hey, your Apple ID has been indicated and has been found on another Apple device. So you just click on the OK on this. And then that's it. And then you just sit here and you wait for your apps to be updated. As you can see, it is in the middle of updating most of my apps. I got a few apps that have videos on them. And as you can see on the bottom screen, right here. As you can see right there, that app is being loaded. So only apps that I have that I haven't been loaded, that are still loading, it'll just go through the load up setup. As you can see there, as you can see there, and that is pretty much it. So basically what's going to happen is that you're going to get a notification saying that your Apple ID and your phone number are now being used on your new iPad. Uh, this is basically letting you know that your Apple ID and phone number have been um, pinned against your new iPad, basically letting you know that, hey, you've got another Apple device that your Apple ID and phone number are now going to be used on so you can access all the same settings, all your access uh, account information from your iPad. This is just basically giving you a notification letting you know that it's doing that. Once that's done, once you, um, once you see that indication on your phone or on your old iPad, you just simply hit OK. And then again, as you can see, it's actually loading up most of my apps, as you can see there, and some apps that I had here that were actually not loaded up it's actually loading those up and a few there that i have as you can see my shopping one it's actually loading up most of those apps and then my photo and videos it's actually loading up most of those apps and that is everything on how to set up your new ipad from your old ipad without having to go through all these other lengthy steps such as plugging in your old ipad into your computer backing it up taking your new ipad and again if you have an ipad air it's going to come with a different power cord than your normal iPad. So basically, all the iPads, whether it's the 8th gen, 7th gen, 6th gen, or whatever, all come with the Lightning to USB. The new iPads, whether it's the Air or the Pros, come with a Lightning, or they come with a USB-C connecting. So basically, what you end up having to do is using two different power cords to set this up. One for your iPad, one for your old or newer iPad, unless it's another iPad, then it really wouldn't matter. But if you're if you're going from an iPad to an iPad Air, the fourth gen, or an iPad Pro, that's what you're going to deal with is having to disconnect the cord for this one, and then finding the USB C USB C plug-in for your new iPad, and then plugging it in. This way is much more simpler, as all you need to do is make sure that both your iPads are connected to Wi-Fi, and then all you have to do is follow those instructions. And that is it. So if this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to check out some other tutorial videos I have for all my other Apple devices that I have done. And I'll see you guys in the next video.